Here, we're going to talk about fractions and something called common denominators. Marco and Jimmy are each painting a wall in a new house. Here's Marco. He says he has painted three quarters of his wall. Here's Jimmy. He has painted five eighths of his wall. Because five is a lot more than three, he is claiming he has painted more of his wall than Marco. But has he really? The problem is when Jimmy is considering the two fractions, three quarters and five eighths, he's only thinking about the numerators and comparing those. The numerator five is larger than a numerator three. But does that make the fraction 5 eighths larger than the fraction 3 quarters? The trouble is, numerators tell us how many parts we have. But they don't tell us how big each of the parts are. Remember, it's the denominators that tell us how big each of the parts are. In the fraction 3 quarters, the denominator 4 tells us a whole object is divided into 4 parts. But in the fraction 5 eighths, the 8 tells us the whole object is divided into 8 parts. Comparing numbers of parts does not really make sense when the parts are different sizes. It's much like comparing fruits. Here we have 3 watermelons and 5 strawberries. There's a greater number of strawberries than watermelons. But there's a lot more to eat in 3 watermelons than in 5 strawberries. Let's look at our fractions 3 quarters and 5 eighths and we'll place them side by side. Even though the numerator 5 is greater than the numerator 3, we see that the fraction 3 quarters is actually larger than the fraction 5 eighths. Marco has painted 3 quarters of his wall, and as he points out, 3 quarters is larger than 5 eighths. So Marco has painted more of his wall than Jimmy has. So as you can see, it's hard to compare fractions with different denominators. Just like it's hard to compare numbers of different fruits. But it's easy to compare different numbers of the same fruit. Two watermelons is obviously less to eat than three watermelons. And five strawberries is less to eat than ten strawberries. Just like comparing the same fruits, it's also easy to compare fractions with the same denominator. Here we're comparing eighths. We see, for example, that 6 eighths is larger than 5 eighths. Moving the fractions together, the fraction 6 eighths and 5 eighths have the same denominator. Fractions that have the same denominator are said to have a common denominator. These two fractions have the denominator 8 in common. Now we'll divide each of the two rectangles into 16 parts. So fractions based on these will both have a denominator of 16. We can also say they have a common denominator of 16. Because they have a common denominator, it's easy to compare fractions based on these. For example, here are 3 16 and 7 16 We can clearly see how much larger the fraction 7 16 is than 3 16 and we can also clearly see how much larger the fraction 15 sixteenths is than 7 sixteenths. 